Welcome everyone to the RTV studios on the campus of Martinsville High School for another edition of Inside Martinsville Basketball here on the MHS Rewind YouTube channel and WREP 15 Sports. I'm your host, Eric Meyer, joined by girls head coach Dave Dorsett on the eve of their sectional. Coach, appreciate taking the time to join us. Appreciate you having us. They've got the sectional game, the Artesians do, coming up the bye contest on Friday night against the Mooresville Pioneers. We'll get to that later in the show, but we've got a lot to talk about here with the coach on this edition here. We're going to go back to the Artesians. Last four ball games, we'll take a look at highlights of the Perry Meridian contest and then talk about Jasper Franklin and BNL before getting to a preview of the Mooresville Pioneers. But up first, coach, let's go back to that Perry Meridian game a couple of weeks ago, and that's a contest coming in that you felt you kind of matched up pretty good with Perry, and you did minus the first couple five minutes when they got out to the big lead. Yeah, we didn't get off the start that we anticipated, and we'd worked on and and uh, kind of dug herself a hole again. And, and then we worked our way out of it and made, uh, I think we won, won every minute from that point on. But those first four or five minutes, we just got down and, uh, you know, got shots, just couldn't hit shots. And we talked earlier that we got to make shots. So, uh, you, you know, um, kids, kids uh, the endurance and the, the, the adversity that they faced, they fought right back, made it a competitive ball game, but uh, we come up short again. And, and uh, definitely one that we thought we, we should have got in, in our season. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those highlights from the Paramoridian contest. We'll roll those right now, and you'll see, like we talked about, you're down early here. This is the first bucket of the game for you guys. Yeah, Maya, Maya uh, as a freshman, has done a really good job for us, uh, you know, driving the basketball and able to get to the rim and kind of coming out of her shell a little bit. Shoots the ball pretty well for us there and um, kind of got kind of got us rolling there early, uh, you know, not, not as early as what we anticipated. Holly Gallion with a big three, and then here she comes again. Yeah, Holly shot the ball well for us this season and is our leading scorer. And, and uh, so far, if we can, you know, we're on a little set quick hitter there to, to, to get some more points on the board. And they ran it, you know, again, this is where I said that they didn't quit. They come back and, you know, down, we're down eight or nine points, and we kind of feel like we're in a ball game here. Bank open on that one to start, and that really kind of gets you guys close here. Yeah, again, we not, you know, got some shots, got some looks, and, and uh, tried to come out a little more aggressive in the second half, and they did. And uh, we just couldn't just get over that hump there. We, we got it eight, nine points, and then get it down to seven. And, and uh, you know, real quick, it goes back to 14, 15 points. And, uh, but, but these girls got some fight. They got some drive to them, and, and uh, we're hoping, hoping we can continue on, you know, in a sectional play here tomorrow night. And you see Holly Gallion and drive in there to the bucket and and one opportunity for her coming up again get kind of close and they kind of just call their way you know hit some shots and and get that lead back up yeah it seems like for us when when we when we do make a little run and and, and then we go into a little spurt of turning the ball over two or three times and, and the other team capitalizes on it and, and and they kept a 10 12 13 14 point lead on us about all the way here in the in the fourth quarter so um, but but as I watch film and I watch these girls play, they they continue to run stuff, they continue to fight, they continue to have you know, good attitudes, good effort, and and uh, you know we, we we get to we get the game cut down to single digits there, and they're in it. Uh, if, if any team that I've ever had deserves some type of success on the win column, it's these, it's these girls. Um, uh, but we measured, like I said before on the show, we we've measured things in different win columns. Uh, you know, fighting through the adversity, staying together, staying in chemistry and those kinds of things and trying to stay positive here uh, for, for our postseason play. And, and uh, nothing's ever easy on our schedule. I mean, we face one of the, one of the top ranked teams again tomorrow night in the sectional. And, and, uh, um, but, you know, we, we had some good play here at the end of the year in the last four ball games. And, and uh, we've seen some good things. We've, we've corrected some things. Our free throw percentage is better. Our turnovers ratio is a lot better. And, and then we falter back. And, and we fall backwards a little bit in some categories, but uh, they bounce right back. Uh, we've had good practices this week, and, and in the last 10 days we've had good practices. So uh, we'll, we'll see, see how things pan out here for us. We'll talk about the sectional here coming up in just a few moments, but we'll go to the kind of close out the schedule. You talked about you're facing some tough teams and your, your ball club you know, faced some, some, some tough contests this season. You've got a tough mid-state slate and um, some of the other games that you've added as well. Um, you know, were tough as well for your ball club. You go on the road to Jasper, Franklin, and Bedford North yeah. Lawrence to wrap up the year. 
that's not an easy schedule or a good schedule for anybody, you know, regardless coming in. But your girls fought, battled through it and hopefully learned some things in those three last contests of the season against some really good ball clubs. Yeah, we, 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 we had a Jasper last year, and, and Coach Staggs and I talked about it, and it's a good venue to play in. It's a good venue for them to come play in at our place. So we put them on there, and, and they're a really good, solid basketball team. And, and uh, you know, we, did, we didn't want to put anybody on there just to maybe go grab a win type type of feel. So um, we, we went down there, and we, we play a kind of an NBA schedule. We play Friday, we play right Saturday, in. we come back, we play Tuesday, we play Thursday. Uh, and, then, and then we get ready, obviously, for whatever could happen in the sectional. So a uh, pretty good little NBA run there as far as schedule goes. So um, Jasper, just, you know, stronger kids, deeper kids. Uh, they've had a couple kids move in down there for them and, and uh, uh, a solid basketball team that we didn't match up real well with. They had two bigs uh, that, that – uh, were good solid bigs that had some moves and so on and so forth and 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 then again you know we come off of a Friday night and and uh, uh, kind of a downer for the kids and we didn't play as hard as what I thought we should play um, and then we roll into Franklin and, and obviously Franklin's got a good solid team that that uh, got got depth and a class that's been coming for them that are juniors this year so um, you know a little bit of struggle there but no and not an easy and and we didn't want easy we set that up to to prepare for the sectional and 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 to try to prep us no matter what our team looked like, to try to prep us and have a good solid ending season. Uh, wins or losses, really, at that point, uh, you're just trying to get yourself ready for the tournament play. And, and uh, then, then the best team on my schedule is Bedford North Lawrence. Uh, Coach Allen down there does a terrific job. He's got two of the best guards. Um, I, I, I don't, I see him going, seeing it right. uh, going a little ways. With, with, in the tournament, you gotta have a little luck, but I think he's pretty solid with his two guards that he's got. And, um, I don't think anybody up in our area has got any match for him, in, in my opinion. So, um, and and on 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 the note of that, he was kind to us. He he played us and played us solid and and uh, beat us respectively and professionally. And I appreciated that, and uh, my kids did too. But uh, we we just don't match up with those kinds of teams. We we don't have the uh, size, we don't have the strength, and we don't have the depth. So, uh, but it gets us prepared for what we're going to see tomorrow night, which is some similarities of. Uh, what, what I think is a pretty good Mooresville basketball team. And, and uh, so, you know, we wrap up our season uh, to try to fine tune and get ready. Um, it, it's, it's tough for my kids. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's been tough for my kids to, to not win games. And, and uh, I keep, keep telling them what our successes are. But, uh, you know, it's kind of like working all week and you don't get a paycheck right. uh, type of thing. So, uh, but they've battled through it. And uh, we're, we're, we're happy where we're at. We, we, we've we're pretty, pretty confident that we've improved this year. Um, and, and again, I told him at the beginning of the year, I'm not sure what improving and getting better is. Is that going to be winning ball games or just competing? Uh, and sometimes we compete and sometimes we don't. So um, then that leads us to Mooresville. And, and that's a whole different, whole different ball game tomorrow night. They've already uh, beat us fairly, fairly easily during the season. And we had kids hurt and kids not there. And uh, trying to figure things out with chemistry and, and so on and so forth. So we're we're comfortable where we're at. Um, it's it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a huge battle for us. Uh, um, but we're we're going to show up. We're going to lace them up. And we're going to go play. Well, Marsville finally got a buy in a sectional game, and you get it this year, and you're going to uh, play the Mooresville Pioneers. The Pioneers with the win barely, barely squeaked by Bloomington South in their opener. Uh, came down to a, a couple of three pointer. Well, a three pointer at the end by Bloomington South to take a lead and then a rebound and. I watched the the replay and the officials kind of swallowed the whistle on the <laughs> rebound. The girl got the put back, but Coach Hurt, his kids do a tremendous job. They get the win uh, down there over Bloomington South. And you know when you start talking at the the experts talk about who's going to come out of the south half of the sectional. The two teams generally at the top of that are the uh, the south half of the semi state for the Class 4A, maybe going to meet in Indianapolis. The two teams generally out of that conversation have been Bedford North Lawrence who you guys played your last game of the season and Mooresville yeah. who had a great run last year as well so you'll see them in the opening round you played them earlier what can you kind of take away from maybe that first game that you did play like you said shorthanded well we, we turned the ball over to way too many times at that time of year uh, we're down we're down without without our guard you know Holly Gallion's out uh, Mace's Mace's is injured and she's trying to, to, to play through that game uh, and then she goes out after that game. So uh, the takeaway is uh, we, we know the ball pressure. We know the pressure he's going to bring. Uh, we know he was a fine final, final team last year going really deep into the tournament 
everybody's back, and uh, um, you know we, we've got to be able to handle the ball pressure. And, and I know he's going to trap us. He's going to full court press us, and, and by all means, uh, I, I know he's going to do that. And, and then he's got a great program. His kids have played since kindergarten, and they've stayed at Mooresville, and they've come all the way up through the ranks. Uh, Coach Hurt does a really good job with his program, and and uh, you know. It, we needed a little luck uh, on Tuesday night, and South just came up one bucket short. And uh, we, we thought we matched up better with Bloomington South, uh, obviously. But uh, you know, we we got uh, we got some strategies, we got some plans we've been working on for six, seven days here, and and the kids are really buying into that. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, we we've got to be able to handle his press, and we've got to be able to handle his ball pressure. Uh, I think if we can get it into a half court set, and we can hang on to the hang on to the basketball and not turn it over 30 times, uh, we've got a remote chance to, to compete. Um, and, and as you know, anything's possible right. in tournament play. So uh, we, we've kind of went with that mindset, kept the kids upbeat. Uh, we've done a lot of chemistry, body, uh, 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 team bonding, and, and tried a team building this week. Uh, uh, want them to have as much fun as they possibly can here. And we, we, we really, really tried to, to uh, put into their mind that uh, everybody is zero and zero. And, and the team that you're going to go face is zero and one. They, they've not won 18, 19 games now. So uh, for kids, that's, that's, yeah. it's easy for me to buy that right. and understand that. But for our kids, we've tried to really, really enforce that and, and really kind of embed that into them that, uh, uh, you know, half the teams aren't playing on Friday night. We're, we're playing on Friday night. Some of the best teams got beat last night and, and Tuesday night. Um, in the state, and they're not playing Friday night. So they're going to get to come watch, or they're going to watch somebody on TV. So we're getting to play live. We got in that semifinal game. We got to buy. Uh, got, got the next best draw that we could have got. Um, you know, the other would have been Greenwood and Bloomington yep. North on that side, but that's not usually how it works. So, uh, but for, for Martinsville, we're going we're to end our season play, playing two of the top teams in the state of Indiana. And uh, for, for girls basketball, what, what else could you ask for other than uh, – you know, a, a win out of it, obviously, but uh, you know, it's 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 going to be a good matchup for us, and and that's a it's a rivalry for us. It's it's more two Morgan County schools going at it, and we're gonna we're gonna do our best, and and I know our kids are going to give 110 percent, and and uh, hopefully people come down and support them. Yeah, absolutely. So the two Morgan County schools coming out instead of stopping halfway at the John R. Wooden or up at Mooresville, we'll head down to Bloomington High School South for the sectional semifinal. Game number one, tip off six o'clock, and they'll—I mean—they'll throw it up in the air at six. Don't get there late. It's going to go right at six. They're going to throw it up in the yeah. air. They'll be ready to go. Yeah, hopefully we're ready to go at six instead of six oh five because Mooresville's not a team that you—you right, uh, you you, you don't want to get down to them. Um, and, and I know Coach is going to come at us, and he's going to try to make that happen. And and uh, we've been practicing against that and and uh, trying to ramp things up a little bit. And I think our kids understand it. I, I just—I I hope that our skill set, I hope that our strength. Can handle that because uh, he he's got a pretty power packed uh, uh, starting five there. He puts out there on the floor, so uh, and he, you know he's got a good chance uh, coming out of that section if he gets by us. So it's uh, it's 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 going to be a going to be a battle for us, but we're going we're going to be there six o'clock. All right, coach, we appreciate it. Good luck coming up on Friday. Thanks, and again, thank you for everything you do. Uh, one of the top notched. Uh, video broadcasting. Uh, I said this last week, and we didn't get that no, out there. Somebody but, uh, forgot to record. Somebody yeah. forgot to record. So I'm, I, a yeah, little, I little dang. Go I, back a little but, bit. But yeah. uh, you, you, I, I watch live stream stuff. I watch uh, uh, videos and and do all my scouting and stuff off that. And you guys and your crew, uh, kudos to you because you do a great job here. Well, kids do a great job. We appreciate it. Good luck coming up on Friday night. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's our teaching girls head coach Dave Dorsett here inside Martinsville basketball. You heard at Martinsville in the sectional semifinal coming up on Friday on the road at Bloomington High School South against their county rivals. Mooresville will take a chance to get out there, uh, watch some girls basketball on Friday down at Bloomington High School South and support the Artesians. As always, I'd like to thank the head coach for coming in and for the head coach Dave Dorsett along with Luke Cheatham. I think Bo Dilley as well back there produced it. I'm Eric Meyer. We'll see you again next time inside Martinsville Basketball.